So, I was eating some Chinese food last night, and you know, when you, whenever you go to a Chinese restaurant, they always give you these uh, fortune cookies. So, I ate that for dessert, and you know, I, I took out the fortune, I read it, and I'm like, oh, that's cool, yeah. I throw it in my pocket, and I really didn't think much of it. So, today, I, I didn't win first prize, but I'm still really happy, because I got the, uh, the runner-up second prize, which is super, super awesome. Man, I, I, I jumped out of <laughs> I was sitting in my bed when I did it. Uh, when I looked at the at the video and I leaped out of my bed. And yeah, it was it was it was amazing. That's the first contest I ever entered. Ever bothered to enter and I actually won. So that's pretty amazing. Thank you, Doc P ninety one B. I'll I'll link him uh, at the in description. Awesome guy. He gave a lot of opportunities and I can't believe I won one of them. So, but I thought this was kind of cool, because after I won, I shoved my po my hands in my pockets so I could go downstairs and uh, tell my family. And this was the fortune in my pocket. <laughs> Good things are coming to you in due course of time. What do you know? And by due course of time, that's apparently equates to 24 hours. And I thought that was just hilarious. I'm wearing the same pants that I just happened to be wearing last night. And that was the fortune. So, fortune cookies possibly real? No, I don't think so. I think it's a coincidence. Yeah, so here's... That was a small rant, which I am overflowing with excitement here. I can't believe I actually... I actually won a super cool knife. Not just any knife, just a super cool knife. And not just any super cool knife, but one that was made by Doc P91. P91B. So yeah, it's it's super awesome. I'll quit flipping my knife now so you can actually hear me. Um, so right before, you can kind of see it peeking out here. Right before I uh, went to check uh, Doc's channel, you know, to see if he had the contest entries up yet, which I've been doing like every five minutes. <laughs> so I'm super glad it came up. Because I did it before I went to church, and I went to church, I come back, and it's there, which is amazing. So... I was in my garage, you know, looking for some tools to try and get some uh, custom knife work done because it's the weekend, you know, I got a bunch of stuff to do. And I found this. This, uh, this really old rock tumbler, which I use to, to, you know, polish some rocks. So, you think I could use this to get a stone wash finish on a blade if I leave it in here long enough? I don't know. It needs to be lubed up and fixed, but I'll show you how it works. There we go. It's got some resistance to it. It needs to be lubed up, of course, because it's caked with dirt and grime in there. But yeah. I don't know. I think it could work. Tell me what you think. This is actually supposed to be in here. You're not crazy, but uh... It just, it just really needs to be taken apart, cleaned out, and I think I can replace the motor with something else. I think I have something else to replace that with. I may or may not. I don't know. It'll see if, I'll see if it can work. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. And uh, go see Doc P91B's channel, because that's definitely not the first contest he's ever going to come out with. Plus, he just uploads some great, awesome stuff. So if you're a knife maker... Interested in being an Ike maker or just interested in knives in general or if you want to meet a really great guy Go see Doc P91 Beast channel. I'll also link and while I'm at it I'll link just a couple other great guys you should probably see that you know Maybe aren't as popular. All right, so Take care and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye